in the quaint village of Havenbrook, nestled amidst rolling hills and tranquil streams, lived a young girl named Elara. Elara possessed a rare and exceptional gift, the ability to bring her imagination to life through her paintings. Her canvases were vibrant with colors that seemed to dance and stories that seemed to whisper. The villagers marveled at her talent, showering her with praise and admiration. Alara's parents, supportive of her passion, encouraged her to pursue her dreams but as she grew older, doubts began to creep into her mind. The villagers' expectations weighed heavily on her, causing her to question her abilities. She feared that her art, which had always been an extension of her heart and soul, would no longer be good enough. Doubt cast its shadow, eclipsing her once unshakable confidence. One warm summer day, the village announced an art competition to celebrate the upcoming Harvest Festival. The grand prize was a sumptuous feast, an extravagant reward that enticed many talented artists to participate. Elara hesitated. The pressure to create something that would outshine her previous works and impress the villagers weighed heavily on her. She began to believe that perhaps her artistic talents were merely a fleeting fancy, not something she could rely on. As the days passed and the competition's deadline approached, Elara found herself in a creative route. She would start painting only to discard her attempts in frustration. The blank canvas seemed to mock her, reflecting the void of inspiration within her heart. Her parents noticed her distress and tried to console her, reminding her of her past achievements. Yet, Alara's self-doubt was a fortress she had built, shutting out their words of encouragement. One evening, as the sun cast a warm golden glow over Havenbrook, Elara sat by the riverbank, staring at the water's shimmering surface. Lost in thought, she spotted an old man sitting nearby, observing her with kind eyes. He introduced himself as Master Avian, a seasoned painter who had wandered the world, seeking inspiration in every corner. Curiosity peaked. Elara shared her struggles with Master Avian. His eyes twinkled with empathy as he recounted his own experiences with doubt and artistic blocks. He spoke of moments when he felt adrift, disconnected from his own talents. Yet, he emphasized that trust in oneself was the anchor that could weather any storm. Remember, Elara, he said gently, your art is a reflection of your unique soul. It's not about impressing others but about expressing your truth. His words resonated with Elara, like a long-lost melody that she was rediscovering. With a newfound determination, she returned to her easel the next morning. She decided to paint not for the village or the competition, but for herself. With each brushstroke, she poured her heart into the canvas, letting her emotions guide her hand. Days turned into nights and Elara lost track of time. When she finally stepped back to admire her work, tears welled in her eyes. She had painted a breathtaking scene of Havenbrook, capturing the village's essence with a depth that went beyond mere technique. The colors were alive, and the stories whispered from the canvas were like echoes of her spirit. The day of the competition arrived and Alara's heart pounded as she presented her painting. The villagers gathered around, their expectations palpable, but Alara's concern for their judgment had faded. She had discovered a reservoir of self-trust, an unshakable belief in her abilities that surpassed any external validation. When the winner was announced, it was indeed Alara's name that echoed through the village square. The applause that followed was genuine and heartfelt. But it was the smile on Alara's face that truly illuminated the moment. She had triumphed not only in the competition but over her own doubts. From that day forward, Alara continued to paint with unwavering confidence. She painted for herself, for the joy of creation, and for the stories her heart yearned to share. And as she painted, 
the villagers realized that her art was not just about strokes on a canvas. It was a testament to the power of trust, in oneself, in one's abilities, and in the journey of the heart. And so, the village of Havenbrook learned a valuable lesson from a young painter who overcame her doubts and insecurities. Alara's story became a cherished legend, passed down through generations as a reminder that one's truest masterpiece is not just what is seen, but what is felt and believed within.